This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 200 for Tuesday, July 26th, 2016. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's radio network. Holy crap, 200. <laughs> <laughs> we made it and we're still talking. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> there were days, I'll tell you. The things you guys don't see behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, some year, some year will. Uh, I actually have bloopers, believe it or not. Um, oh my God, there's a lot of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> from the from the from the very early days, and um, uh, we should have made this a we should have made this a trivia question, but I don't know that anybody could possibly get it right. Um, so What's the question? The question is: Is when was the very first Anderson Penn's podcast? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it was four years ago. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, do you want to take a guess at when it was? Was it over the summer? See, I, I could have probably guessed it if you'd asked. I could have probably guessed it probably within about a week time frame. Braggart. Um, well, because I, distinct, <laughs> I distinctly remember starting the podcast. Okay. Um, when it happened, it happened after the Chicago Pen Show. Okay, so sometime in May. So sometime in May. Oh, thanks, um, Justin. 199 yeah. episodes ago. Everybody's Easy. sharp Art tonight. One. Everybody is sharp. Um, <laughs> May so 20th, sometime... 2012. Jeez. That's now, crazy. What's funnier is I actually have the show notes. So we write up show notes um, for the podcast. Um, we write up less and less these days than we did in the beginning because we didn't oh. know. How to oh my occupy. god! Back in the day, we wrote everything. Well, you know, so Lisa we, colon what I say, Brian colon what I say, and now it's just like Cliff. It's not even Cliff notes. It's just yeah, like it's, a, it's it's less than a page, right? Um, yeah. Well, because we recorded them, and then sometimes we had to stop, and then I had to splice stuff together, and. Mm -hmm. The dog barked, and you can see I've got the window open behind me. So if the neighbor starts to mow the lawn, then we're gonna we're gonna hear him. And the um, neighbor who lives, um, I'm facing the windows in my office, and there's a neighbor uh, diagonal from us. We've probably mentioned her here and there. We call her Banshee Woman because she screams like a banshee. A boyfriend, baby daddy, the kids. I don't know what she screams at, but yeah. so. So it was it was way too much prep, as as Mike yes. uh, alluded to, but we you know we we're just getting started. So what's interesting though is what we actually talked about on the very first podcast. Now, of course, I have not listened to that podcast in a hundred and you know in four <laughs> years. Um, do you want to take a guess what we talked about? Do you even remember? Um, it was before the Raleigh Penn show, but it wasn't the week before. So it was it was like Noodlers Naponsets coming out or something. The first item on the list was discussing a visit from our newly converted pen friends, Dave and Julie. Oh my God. <laughs> of course wow. now Dave Dave now works for us. Um, and he has uh, for over two years. Yeah, Julie was up to three pens. Dave had two, uh, and they were looking at ink, um, something else. Uh, and then we talked about the uh, Chicago Pen Show. And uh, you want to take a guess at what we talked about? Who we talked about there? We talked about a particular person. Four years ago. Um, was it a good or a bad the, person? It's a great person. We talked about an auction. We always talk about an auction. Help me out here. Who would we have been sitting with at the auction four years ago? Uh, was this there, when? A, was this there, when? There's, there's a hint in the asleep? chat. <laughs> I don't know. That was another year. There's a hint in the chat. Right oh, that now. was when Eric was there. I made you buy a pen? Well, that's usually Brian's thing. I usually try to stop you. Eric was the only bidder on a, uh, I believe it was a Maybe Todd Swan. Um, oh, but yes. So we, we talked about Dave and Eric on the very first <laughs> podcast. <laughs> wow. 
And look at us now. Dave works for us. And oh, wait, so does Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that, that was kind of fun That's looking awesome. looking at that. Um, May twentieth, uh, so over four years. Yeah, yeah, we we took a few. That the first year we did, if I'm not mistaken, we did fifty one or fifty two podcasts. The first first twelve months. Um, uh, well, we've we've taken some off here and there yeah. um, between shows and my seventy three surgeries between my eyes and my shoulder and whatever. Um, and more eyes. Um, but uh, I don't think we ever went too many weeks without a podcast. No, no, two probably at the most. So, but here we are, 200. Thank you, everyone, for um, for, for uh, profusely joining in. I guess one other little uh, interesting uh, tidbit. Do you remember who announced us on the uh, 100th podcast? Oh, that was Eric. That was Eric. I, 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 was, that I was thinking about playing that before we started, but. Uh, anyway, uh, during last week's podcast, Lisa mentioned a big giveaway that we're going to do next week. I love freebies. I assume everybody uh, else does. She um, specifically mentions, uh, did you specifically mention this? I can't remember. Um, I don't remember. We're giving away a pilot stargazer uh, and some other stuff. Yes. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to the stargazer in a bit. Yep. Uh, the uh, probably other stuff. So, um, yeah, we have other stuff. We've got some stuff. So, um, get your get your email clients ready. Yes, get get ready. Um, I think we're just gonna jump right in. Go. Cool. We could do prize chit chat, prize chit chat. Yeah, you know, we could do that. I could do that all night. All right, maybe not. Um, so, okay, everybody. I'm going to ask a question, and prize number one is a Rodia web notebook in silver, one of the newer ones. Uh, I love these. Great paper. I love that the binding is a, the cover is a little heavier. Um, it's not going to fall apart on you. Paper doesn't tear. These are wonderful. Um, so the Rodia web notebook in silver is going to go to the first person who sends the correct response in an email. And the email address is going to be podcast at andersonpens.com. Got that? P O D C A S T. Podcast at. And Eric, you can't play. Uh, so remember, this is a live broadcast. If you're listening to this later, don't send in an answer. We've already got a winner. Uh, if you're watching, get ready. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to read here. Got different glasses on. Um, so send in the email to podcast at andersonpens.com. Type my answer in the subject line and get ready. Take it away. Right. I knew this one. The first question is What is the name of my cat? <laughs> what is the name of my cat? First, uh, First correct answer to podcast at andersonpens.com. Uh, we do have a cat, and she has made more than a few cameo appearances on the podcast. Um, yes, she has. Uh, and she is, do we, want, we don't want to give her a hint. People know. Uh, she is named after, she's, she's, her name is pen related. <laughs> she's adorable. While, while we're waiting for the answer, we got something you want to chit chat about? Uh, I think I do. I'm, I'm just, I'm looking for the cat, actually. Usually she's like the food bowl and the water dish or by my, uh, by my office desk. So usually she's like trying to decide if there's room on my lap to jump up. Um, we did get in uh, some brand new ink that came in, was it last week? Yeah, it's been, it been the last week, yeah. Um, the new uh, J. Herbin 1670 anniversary ink is in stock. We uh, did not get all of our order, but we did get quite a bit. Uh, we do have a little bit left. And for the life of me, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I can't either. Boy, is it pretty cool looking. Here's a shot. <laughs> um, it's brown. It's got, uh, Chris did a great job on Think Thursday uh, with, uh, phenomenal. Uh, with the gold undertones. Um, uh, let's see. So I'm, I'm going to just go you're out. You're going to jump in and. Well, it's. C A R O U B E. Now I don't speak French, so is it 
Karube, Karub. Oh, I, I, I mean, no it's idea. it's the Carib of Cyprus. So that's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm. Gonna it's got to it. be better than Carib. So Karub. <laughs> I got the D. D. So something something tells me we ought to know how to pronounce this, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I could cheat and I could listen to it, but that's just not as much fun as totally mangling it on purpose. De Chipre, Chipre, maybe? Carub de Chipre? Well, it's Cyprus in French, so Chipre. Oh. I'm assuming this CH is pronounced. Oh. So Carub de Chipre? I don't know. It's pretty. It's brown. It's kind of cool. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, cheap bra. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what. The, oh, oh, they're helping me pronounce Cyprus. It's the Carib Seed of Cyprus. That's what it is. That's what I'm going with. Oh, the Carib right. Brown. Here we there go. we go. All right. All right. Um, we do have a winner. Uh, we had some very interesting, um, interesting responses. Um, yeah. Let's go through the one that it's not. It's not whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> How's that pen related? It's not. Um, it is not. May, it is not maybe or Mabel. Uh, Inky. Maybe. Nope. Meow. Nope. Dog food. That's a cute one. No. <laughs> um, so we uh, we actually had made a couple correct answers. Uh, the first correct answer goes to uh, Justin, and Ooh, awesome. uh, the answer is of course Brooke. Is in so, Esther Brook. In Esther Brook, uh, Brook is my cat. So, awesome. Um, we we'll get a little bit of a <laughs> shout out there. All right, get ready. Um, I, we're gonna do do another one, huh? We are. Um, is this what just I jump have? right in. Um, you can do this one. The second question, the prize is. Do you have it? I have it right here. Right. This is a. Pilot uh, Orochizuku three piece mini ink sets. Uh, these are the new ink sets. They come in these cool little white um, boxes. I like the boxes. You take, um, you use up the ink and you take out all the styrofoam and it's a sturdy it's a nice, little box. Yeah, it's a nice little pen uh, pen box. Uh, this one has uh, Murasaki Shikabu, Asagao, and Chiku Rin. Um, oh, Chiku Rin. In the, in the box, so um, three nice um, little mini Orochizuku bottles. Uh, where are we here? We are, so uh, <laughs> this prize will go to the second correct response. And the same email, podcast at andersonpens.com. Now, listen to the whole question first. Listen to the whole thing. This is going to make you think. And when in doubt, blame Eric. <laughs> Don't blame Eric. All right. So, what is the question? You're going to send it to podcast at andersonpens.com. Okay. What episode number of the Anderson Pens podcast is this? And your answer must be in the form of Roman numerals, not Latin, not Greek, Greek, not English. Must be Roman numerals. Go. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you and I tried to do that. It took us a minute. Like, took, wait. Yeah, yeah. Is... No, we figured it out. I haven't we used did. it in a little while, but um, there it is. Uh, you know, if, if we watched more movies, we'd be able to figure that out because it's always at the end of the movie, right? Yep. Yep. It's All right. At the end of the movie. So, um, um, let's uh, chat about ink for a minute. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, threads on some of the forums lately about private reserve ink. Um, Couple customers had an issue a while back with um, copper burst a bottle in a batch. Um, I did want to just remind everybody that we do still carry Private Reserve. Um, they're going to continue to uh, make ink even after uh, it's been a year, maybe more, yeah. since the uh, founder of Private Reserve passed on. Uh, but they're continuing on, and uh, we still carry it. So if you're looking for it, um, they do make some really pretty ink. Do we have a winner? Everybody's still lot. trying to pick I it think, up holy online. Holy smokes, my email is blowing up here. Um, well, that's see, funny. If, see if anybody got it wrong. Um, uh, let's see. 
peas, you know, I better make sure I got it right. I think I'm in there. I'm sure you know what the answer is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you Google it? No, I didn't Google it, but Bing that, um, <laughs> bing that stuff. <laughs> uh, no, no, I got it right. Okay. Um, the first answer. We need a second. Answer. We need a second? Second correct answer. That was the deal. Oh, it was the second? Is that what you said? I'm sorry. Yes, I said the second. This time it's the second. Next time it'll be the third. See how that works? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the answer, of course, is C. C. The correct answer is uh, Tamar. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, do we get applause? We do get applause here. Hang on just a second. I'm, I'm writing it down because I got so many emails. Sure it, right? So, Tamar, you are the winner of the Roshizuku ink set. Very cool. Those All are right. great colors. Uh, nice bottles too. They're real, you know, because they're short and stout like that. You can short and stout. Well, you get your pen filled up. Um, Isn't that a teapot? I don't know. I don't know. Um, third, third prize. Third prize. No, this is think, fun. We should do this again. I think I think you have it, right? I do. Um, this is kind of a funky prize. The third prize is a, um, a company called Napkin. You've got the Napkin Perpetua Graphite Pencil. Um, which is actually graphite and rubber combined. You never have to um, sharpen it if you don't want to. It just writes forever. It's um, graphite and rubber bonded together. It's really kind of cool. And this colored part up here is actually the eraser. These are fun. We've had them at the counter at the store, or we did for quite a while. And uh, a lot of people played with them, and then they thought they were so cool, and they just bought them. And then there is um, a matching notebook. So you've got cool yeah it's kind of fun and then you've got a rubber band that holds it all together uh, so there you go prize number three prize number three all right the question here I know this one this one's a tough one uh, it is actually it's a tough one could be where did Lisa and I Get married. We don't need the year, just the basic location. Podcast at AndersonPens.com. Go. Third correct answer. Third correct answer. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, where did we get married? It was a Saturday. That's where it was. It was Hawaii. Was. Wasn't it Hawaii? We went to Hawaii. <laughs> I wish it was Hawaii. <laughs> you and Carol right. can tell us all the good spots to go. I think they were there, weren't they? Were they at the wedding? They were at the, they were at the wedding in Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> no. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, Is that your we, email? That's my email. Yeah. Can oh you hear my that? god. Sorry. Um, Alaska is the wrong answer. It's blowing up here. I'm sorry. I got the volume up. I'm just I'm out of my element here. Um, while we're waiting for that to happen, um, what else? Speaking of ink, so we're talking ink, we've got some ink. More ink. I got to find where we are. <laughs> do we have more uh, ink? We do have more ink. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, yes. Um, we got in uh, some Mont Blanc ink, and we got in the Shakespeare Red Velvet, which came in and went out. It was like the Flash came in and took it. It was crazy. Uh, we also got in the Mont Blanc Ultra Black, which is really cool. Um, Nice deep black. Uh, Chris did a review that will be up on a Think Thursday pretty soon. And he said it actually had uh, some really interesting undertones. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. I did a swatch today, yesterday, and um, I was impressed. It had really nice flow. Good. Yep. Awesome. Montplanc um, is uh, coming out with some cool stuff this year. So I was impressed. Yeah, yeah, and see the, the Shakespeare and now the Ultra Black. Um, so, and uh, more fun stuff coming uh, toward the end of the year. So, yes, yes. Uh, we do have a winner, however, I do not have a name. Um, oh, how do you not have a name? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the name is just the email address, um, but it is correct. Um, I'll just use the first, I won't even. I, Let's just call. Let's just call him BHC, and he'll, I'll, I'll I will email him um, 
him or her correctly um, answered the question. The answer is Chicago. So we uh, uh, did get married at the Chicago Penn Show in 2010. It was not Hawaii. So no, no, very, very much the opposite. I think it was really kind of chilly and definitely windy that weekend. Well, you know, I I was going to wear my bow tie tonight for the podcast. <laughs> that would have been fun. I, I tried it on while you were working on dinner, and I, for the life of me, I, I have not worn the bow tie since the wedding. Um, like a uh, shoelace. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you're going to have to practice that. I couldn't get it. I, and I said, you know what, I don't have time for this, so uh, no bow tie. Um, you know what? Uh, we've got a lot of people who are really close. Um, do one more. I think we should do one more. Now, this one is uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, I have in one front of my of me favorites a black box, and this is kind of a joke in the household. Um, I have a Schaefer box here. Um, this is this is really a, a neat neat. That we've got a nice pen here. Uh, I don't have a question, so you better think of a question really quick while I while I ad lib this. Okay. Um, this is a Schaefer Intensity, um, really a nice pen. Um, this has a medium steel nib. It's got a beautiful um, spiral kind of engraved pattern on the cap. Uh, cartridge converter, it's got a white barrel. Uh, very, very nice pen. It's a little bit slimmer, but it's got some weight to it. Uh, the cap seals up real well. The joke around here is that Lisa loves her intensity. Um, and rightly so. They, they, never, they never seem to dry out. They write very well. Um, we love them. They're great, great pens. Um, I've got one. Lisa's got one. Um, this comes with the converter. comes with a couple of cartridges uh, in the box, of course. Uh, to the uh, fourth correct. To, I don't know this. Oh, um, yes, I believe that the answer is correct. Okay. That's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. So uh, we reserve the right to be incorrect on this answer, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is. I think it's I, the right. This is yeah. this is the right answer. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Um, so this is um, question number four for the intensity, which is, is not a intensity. grand price. Yes, this is not this a grand is, price, but this is not a not an inexpensive pen. This is a very very yes. nice pen. Phenomenal writers that, uh, like Brian said, the joke is that I love my intensity, and and every time somebody looks at one, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. But it's really a nice, solid writer, a little bit thinner in girth, which I like, but it's got weight, so it doesn't feel. Um, yeah, it posts nice. Flimsy. It's it's, it's yeah. really really a good pen. It's it's, it's well really, done. a lot of people don't talk about it, um, but it's it's a solid performer, really really good pen. So. Uh, so without further ado, question number four, and um, the fourth correct answer to... Uh, we, and we may have to modify that because I don't know if we're going to yeah. get four correct answers on this one. All right, so in 200 episodes of doing podcasts over the last four plus years, we have only had a handful of guests or guest hosts, whatever you want to call them. Um, people other than us on the podcast. Who was the very first non-Anderson on the podcast? So podcast at AndersonPens.com. Closest to the fourth correct answer um, <laughs> that we can get. I don't even remember when it was, quite frankly. Uh, I think it was sometime in... Uh, Did we do a full yeah. year alone and then... We got lonely or? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, but I, you know what's really funny is I grabbed a, a piece of, I have, a, I have a little notebook or a little notepad here um, that I grabbed to write down the winners of the prizes. Um, and back in the day, I, I would have a little three, uh, three sentence uh, introduction for our guest uh, and I would write it out. I right. just so I just and, and then I would keep it so that when the next guest came along, I, I knew kind of what I said and I would replace certain things. I just happened to pick up, this is at my desk, my my notes for this particular guest host. So either I need to really? clean my desk more often, but I, I, I have it right do. here. Um, so we, we would do a little uh, little YouTube uh, uh, thing for thirty seconds about the podcast, and then we would get into it. So I actually have it right here. That's cool. Uh, 
wow, that's old. You need to clean your desk. Yes. <laughs> yes. No question. <laughs> clean your uh, desk. Let's Chris see, is working we, this Saturday for us, so you've got time. Do uh, Do you want to talk about while we're waiting for this? Let me see if I'm if we've got any correct answers here. Um, the new vanishing the next, point that's coming out. And I'm going to show. I actually have a picture of it. All right. Um, uh, coming in September, so you've only got a little bit more time to wait. Uh, remember that in September every year is the new pilot vanishing point limited edition. And last year was the amazingly gorgeous Twilight. And this year, it's the Guilloche. It's really, really cool. I can't wait for it to come out. You can see it there in the picture. Um, we uh, will have them as soon as they ship out. Uh, I believe we were the first ones to order it. And uh, don't forget, you can always sign up for the back in stock notice. When you go online, click on that. And it will send you... Uh, you submit your email, and then as soon as we get it in in stock and we put it on the site, you will get an email from the site telling you that it's in with a link to the product. Uh, this is this is a pretty sweet looking pen. I can't can't wait yeah, to it, it's in. So it worries me. Um, because it's got a... that tire pen look that you like, but <laughs> it's a vanishing point which you like. I think we're going to have a problem. Well, we, well, I think we're going to have to come up with another question because nobody's got the answer right yet. So um, hmm. I've got several interesting uh, interesting responses, um, but I don't think any of these are right. Will it, will it help if we say that the first guest is in the audience? Oh, man, you, you're going to need to ad lib because we, we may be incorrect on this. Oh, why don't you... Is there a way um, to look because it up? we, because yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, but I thought uh, I knew this one. <laughs> I, I thought so too. I, I thought that was I thought it was the case, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little search here. But if if I'm if I'm incorrect, we actually do have a winner. But uh, everybody okay. can keep. Uh, I'll just uh, vamp until you're ready. Just vamp till ready, as my as my dad would say. Right. When so. we when we started the podcast four years ago, we had no clue what we were doing. Um, probably still don't. And uh, we did tape them, and then Brian spent hours and hours um, lining up the audio and the video and, and trying to eliminate as much sound as possible, and he was so miserable. We almost didn't continue. Um, and we spent a lot of time uh, as, a, as, as guests on the FP Geeks uh, podcast with Eric and Steven and Aziza, and um, that was great experience, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's it's just funny how things have progressed from there. Um, now it's you know we don't have everything scripted out, and it's just live, and it is what it is. We try uh, we, to behave ourselves. We were incorrect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were Probably. incorrect. We were incorrect by twenty three podcasts. Believe it or wow. not. Wow. Um, I forgot about this. Oh, um, so, yeah. Uh, so we, we have a very astute, uh, I'll, I'll give it to the first correct answer because no okay. one else is going to get this. Um, very astute um, I forgot here. about that. I, I completely did. So, All right. Can, um, can we say who we thought it was? We thought, actually, podcast number 63 was um, our good friend, Hugh Sher, who is in the audience uh, this evening. Um, and, and Hugh was, is partly responsible for the, uh, as you, some of you may recall, the ink it up um, uh, phrase that, we're, that we, we, we've been using. Uh, but he, Hugh was not the very first guest host. I thought he was. I That's thought he who was. I put in the show notes. I'm like, <laughs> the first guest was Hugh. Um, um, but we do, have, we do have a winner. Babe, you um, were that memorable. <laughs> <laughs> And I love our first guest. How could everybody, I have forgotten? Pretty much everybody uh, thought it was Eric or Aziza or Stephen Brown. Yep. Um, the very first guest host who appeared on episode number 40 um, wow. in anticipation for that year's uh, Little Rock pen show, Mr. That, Tim Byler. Was that the uh, last very, year we went to Arkansas? That was probably the last year we went to Arkansas. Um, but uh, Nicholas actually was got the answer correct. So uh, big. That's impressive. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's props, man. I, I 
Even we I had, had it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought for sure it was you. So, um, so you deserve the Schaefer intensity. Yeah, you definitely you earned that pen, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, oh wow, that's cool. Um, um no. So, he, but everybody else who almost everybody else who's been on the show will be in DC, which is next week. Yes, DC. Hugh and Carol week. will be there. Eric will be there. Um, no, Stephen and Aziza, but they will be with us. Uh, we'll probably be texting the whole time. Um, uh, who else have we had on the show? Uh, Carrie well, will be there. Yeah, Hugh's been on twice. Carrie, uh, Ryan Sirignano from uh, Kenro. Yeah. Um, Mike Madison and Audrey uh, were yep. just recently on. Um, it's like a big family reunion. It's a big family reunion. We're all going to be there. Um, we said we mentioned Carrie, right? Um, yes. Very yeah. cool. So, wow. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. I totally so I will. About that. Uh, I will get in touch with all the uh, – Brian was the one that won the uh, the napkin. So. Okay. Um, Thanks for emailing me that. I'll get in touch with all four of you. Uh, get your addresses. We'll get this stuff shipped out uh, in the next day or so, uh, so you can start uh, start writing and using your stuff. Um, now, uh, those of you who keep up with pen shows may know that next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, the first weekend in August, is the super ginormous DC pen show, and we will be there. Uh, the dates are, I should know this, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th? 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, I think. Whatever that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we get in Thursday. We'll be set up Friday, Saturday, Sunday in our normal spot in the ballroom. Um, if there is something that you want us to bring for you, I will not remember. I'm just telling you right now. Give it up. I'm not going to remember. So order it online. And at checkout, choose Pen Show Pickup. That way you don't pay for shipping. Um, but Dave, Chris, and Steph will pack it up. They'll put it in a bag with your name on it. And they'll give me a big box as we're leaving. And that way I'll remember it. Awesome. Um, we got a couple new new folk uh, at the store this week. I'm in heaven. So we, should, uh, we should mention them, give props to um, two new members of the AP team. Uh, I'm in heaven. Kim? Kim is our new marketing director. Uh, now, some of you may remember that um, our good, good friend, Eric Odosko, is handling social media. But we have a lot of local things and a lot of other stuff going on. And so we have hired our good friend, Kim, uh, who we've known for about two years now. And she now handles marketing. And man, did she start with a bang. Um, awesome. Her first day on the job, and she scored us an interview with uh, the local newspaper for the uh, kind of the lifestyle section. It's called The Buzz. Um, and she's working on a couple other things. Um, yeah, just knocking it out of the park. We're very Actually, excited. Good, good, strong work. Uh, and also this week uh, starting, um, you may have noticed last week, we were uh, hiring for new photographers. So now we've got, uh, we've got a really great guy, uh, Jason. Uh, just joined us this week, and uh, he's doing some great work. And uh, we look forward to seeing what uh, what he comes up with. You'll see him on the uh, Friday blog post, WTF Friday uh, post, as well as uh, some of the other stuff. You know, it's it's interesting. Um, there are drawbacks to being a small company. Um, there are definitely perks, and I think one of the perks of um, being hands-on owners and being involved in every aspect of the company is that we get to hand pick our people and Every person who we add to the mix has to fit with the existing dynamic. They have to bring something to the to the group um, and uh, Kim was our sales rep for the local newspaper and we got her hooked on retro 51 rollerballs um, and she got the rest of the ad department at the, at the newspaper addicted. Um, I think in two days we sold, what, 15 uh, or 21? A lot. a lot, yeah. Close to 20 retro 51s just to the advertising department. Uh, their building is diagonal from our store. Um, and then Kim got a, a pilot metropolitan, and then she moved up to a sailor um, 
one of the Pro Gear Slim Four Seasons. So Kim's a pen person. Jason is brand new to pens, and it's really fun um, in a completely non sarcastic, non-malicious way, but it's really fun to watch a non-pen person try to figure it out, try to understand all the parts, how things work, what the heck this is. Um, it's really a lot of fun to be able to educate uh, someone who's so eager to learn. So it's uh, it's been a good week so far. It's only Tuesday, and uh, really we've got a great dynamic going on. Um, I'm very very pleased. It's, it's it's awesome. We have some great people. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, We've got a a, a a big prize to announce. So yes. as if it wasn't enough that we gave away a pen today, we're going to give away this this Stargazer. So you want to talk about that? I do because I love these. I have one, um, and I just adore it. Uh, courtesy of Pilot Pen Company, we are giving away. Let's see a Pilot Stargazer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the blue's which, really Which good. color? Which color? This is blue. You know, that's the best color, I think. I like the black. I, actually, I like the red. <laughs> like, come yeah, on. Yeah, but, but the, blue's, the blue's got more... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have an image here, but uh, the blue's got more contrast. Yes, it does. It's kind of a, a dark... Um, it's not really royal. It's, it's kind of a navy color, but it's really, really pretty. And a little sparkle to the to, to the finish, yes. metallic finish. It's a really nice pen. Um, and it's lacquer over brass, so even though it's a little bit shorter um, than some of the other pens out there, it's got a nice weight to it. And it comes with a cartridge and a converter in the typical gift box, blah, blah, blah. Really awesome pen. So that's, that's definitely a pen uh, if you got bigger hands. You posted it. It's actually a decent length, 14-karat uh, nib. Um, great pen. Uh, yes. So uh, let's see. This uh, is a write-in contest. So um, to enter, you must send, and please listen carefully, a letter or a note or a postcard. Mail. This is a write-in contest. No email. Uh, Anderson Pens, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A. Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. All entries must be postmarked by Saturday, September 3rd, 2016. Um, so, you know, get that in the mail. And this gives us some time for some international folks, too. Uh, Saturday, September 3rd, 2016 must be postmarked. Uh, winner will be drawn at random from all entries received. And the drawing will take place on Tuesday, September 20th. Uh, we'll announce the winner on Facebook, Twitter, all other social media, probably Instagram. Yep. Um, so all over. There you go. And so once again, the address, um, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. And if you forget the address, it's the address of the store. So you can find it on the website. You can find it anywhere. So. Did you Did you do that? No, I did not do that. All right. This is the best part. Very, very, very important because if you don't do this, you will be disqualified. Somewhere on the outside of whatever it is you send, the outside of the postcard, the envelope for your letter, your card, um, write the word stargazer. That way we know what it's about. That way we know you paid attention. Write stargazer somewhere on the outside of whatever it is you send. and. Extra points if you use the word stargazer in a sentence. Yeah. Now, of course, if it's a postcard, then it's obviously on the outside. But Yeah. So there we go. Um, that's going to be fun. So um, it's completely random. So it's not based on how well you draw, how good your handwriting is. Um, just extra, get it in. Extra, extra points if you tell me what ink you used. There you go. Um, and now uh, we're going to have a special announcement. Um, now that we've hit 200 podcasts, uh, the Anderson Pens podcast is taking a sabbatical. Yes, I know we're disappointing huge swaths of the fountain pen community. Uh, <laughs> but sounds uh, so cocky. <laughs> uh, no, we're, we're, we're taking a break. We're coming into show season. 
Um, we've got some new employees that definitely we uh, we need to devote some time to, um, and we've got DC coming up, San Francisco at the end of the month, and Dallas is uh, shortly thereafter, and in, in, uh, in Denver. Um, so we're taking a little bit of a sabbatical. Just a little. We're not saying we're going forever, but uh, with with the new photographer and the new marketing director and our awesome social media director, um, there's just an awful lot of, uh, Brian hates it when I call it confab, but there's an awful lot of collaboration going on. And uh, we really need a little bit of extra time. And the San Francisco show, we're gone for eight days. And then factor in two days of show prep beforehand, two days of unpacking and sleep afterwards. Um, and it, it really just kind of takes up the month of, of August right there. And uh, fall is pretty busy with back to school and everything else going on. So um, it's just time to take a, a little bit of time off. Yeah. And and we, we've got some cool projects in the works. And uh, if we take some time off from the podcast, that gives us more time to focus on those so we can roll those out. Um, you all have seen the... Um, uh, the in comparison tool that we rolled out, and uh, if you were stealthy, you noticed the the second version that we rolled out last week uh, with drag and drop features. Um, uh, and we've got some other cool stuff coming out. So the more time we can spend on that, the faster we can get it. Uh, yep. Get it on the site. So uh, I think that's it for this week. Shout outs. I have a shout out. I want to shout out to my beautiful wife, Lisa, for putting up with me <laughs> for two hundred podcasts. You know, you're you're lying to everyone who listens to this. You just flat out lied. Total fabrication. <laughs> and why would you say that? <laughs> because usually it's you putting up with me before the podcast. One of us almost always has some kind of issue. Uh, technical issue and and quite frankly I don't move anything I leave my computer I leave the setup exactly the way it is um, Brian always blames it on me it's always my Windows machine it's never it's his Mac Windows. so twice, I think there's twice it was mine so yeah but you know it's been yours a couple times so while you're going all right is your microphone working is your camera working I'm thinking to myself did you check yours so <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I put up with you it's that you put up with me or vice versa but um, it's it's been a, a good four years it's been Absolutely. a long four years yeah. so, um, I can't uh, we, believe how green we were <laughs> I mean beforehand I, I you know it certainly wasn't um, you know we didn't have stage fright you know it wasn't that bad but because it wasn't live for the first yeah, that wasn't so bad. 30 podcasts, right? So. But um, in the beginning, it definitely was nerve-wracking. And then when we went live, that was a little, that made me a little nervous. Um, but uh, it, it's been a, a growth experience. <laughs> so. All right. Well, uh, we won't be gone forever, but uh, keep in touch with uh, what's going on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, because you and will definitely... Um, here when we're announcing it again so and come see us at a show absolutely um i think thank that's you it. everybody for joining us thank you and uh we do it for you guys <laughs> uh the blog is blog.andersonpens.com and the website is andersonpens.com thanks much for listening to the podcast and uh we'll see you in washington dc good night everybody. bye <laughs>